been living with for more than 20 years. He also had a problem with his prostate gland. He used to feel a burning sensation every time he wanted to pass urine and this affected his bladder. Pastor Robert prayed for him over the phone and the healing power of God touched him. He confirmed that the headache that has been tormenting him for more than 20 years is gone. He is healed. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12. And then we have our evening service, which starts at half past six every night. Our midnight prayer starts at five to twelve every night. And we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. Tonight we will get the word of God from the book of John, chapter 3, from verse 27, NIV. It reads as follows. To this, John replied, a person can receive only what is given them from heaven. The bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attends the bridegroom waits and listens for him and is full of joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. That joy is mine and it is now complete. He must become greater. I must become less. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. The father loves the son and has placed everything in his hands. Whoever believes in the son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the son will not see life. For God's wrath remains on them. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together. Believing the word of God to be taught with power. Power of the Holy Spirit. Power to heal. Power to bless. Power to protect in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 from verse number 26, they came to John and said, Rabbi, that man who was with you on the other side of Jordan, the one you testify about, about he look he is baptizing and everyone is going to him. You know, remember, John is called John the Baptist. And John is called the Baptist because he started baptize, baptizing. As he started baptizing, in his ministry, one of the things that they used to do was to baptize. But now, as now the disciples of John, they see Jesus and his disciples baptizing. As they see Jesus and the disciples of Jesus baptizing people with water many people were going to Jesus more than they were going to John now the disciples of John begin to tell John John the person Jesus whom you testified about is baptizing and everyone is going to him and the Bible says that to this John, John replied, a person can only receive only what is given to him from heaven. And remember, 
what John have said earlier. John have said earlier, he is not the Messiah. His duty is to reveal the Messiah. And once the Messiah have been revealed, if once the Messiah have been revealed, you know, Messiah must play his part. Of course, everyone will go to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior. And, you know, even us who are the preachers of the gospel, the teachers of the gospel, the main reason why we teach the word of God must be to reveal Jesus. As Jesus is revealed, you must not worry. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. We must not personalize the gospel. The gospel is not about us. Amen. If people Amen. are saved and if people are finding Jesus, that's what the gospel is all about. Amen. You know, you must not be offended just because someone is following Jesus. Amen. It's just that it may not be in the same denomination. That must not be matter. Because sometimes some people are not happy. Not the person that they are not happy about is not born again. It's born again. It's just that they are, it's not going to the same church that they are going to. It's just because they are not following them. No, as long as that person is following Jesus, the gospel is all about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Gospel is all about Jesus. It's not about ourselves. We are not preaching ourselves. We are to preach Jesus. And when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed and the kingdom of Jesus is being built and Jesus Christ calling his people to himself, you must be glad. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love I'm the enjoying word of God. the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. The gospel is about Jesus. Amen. Then, you know, maturity is when you understand that the gospel is about who? It's about Jesus. Amen. The gospel is not about John. Amen. John knows the gospel is not about me. John knows that the gospel is not about him. But his disciples don't know that the gospel is not about him. Amen. The gospel is about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then that's why the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 20 chapter 3 verse number 29 a bride belongs to the bridegroom. The friend who attend the bridegroom waits and listen for him and is full of joy when he hear the bridegroom's voice. Mm -hmm. The joy is mine and is now complete. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says that the, the bride belongs to the bridegroom. Amen. The friend who attend the bridegroom waits and listen for him and is full of joy when he hear the bridegroom's voice. Amen. Remember Amen. what John have said in the book of John chapter 1. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, in the book of John chapter 1, verse number 20, he did not fail to confess, but confess freely. I am not the Messiah. They asked John, 
They ask him, Then are you Elijah? Are you Elijah? He said, I'm not. Are you the prophet? He said, no. But John was, we know when Jesus Christ talked about John, Jesus said that John came with the spirit of Elijah. John was Elijah Amen. and John was a prophet. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And John says that in verse number 23. John replied the words of Isaiah the prophet, I'm the voice, I'm the voice of the one calling in the wild wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. John says that I'm not the Messiah. But he's the one who, who goes before the Lord to make the, straight, the way straight for the Lord. He's not the Lord. Amen. He make the way for the Lord. He testify about the Lord. But he testify about the Lord to reveal the Lord. Then when the Lord Jesus Christ is revealed, John must be happy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John, Amen. when Jesus is revealed and they have been revealed, John must be what? John must be happy. Amen. And Amen. that's why he says that the joy is mine and it is now complete. The joy now is mine. I hear about Jesus and I'm happy that Jesus Christ is revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In verse number 30 of John chapter 3, the Bible says that he must become greater. I must become less. Amen. He says that Jesus Christ must become greater. I must become less. Jesus Christ must be seen, but I must become less. That's what we must, you know, we must preach the gospel for. For Jesus Christ to be revealed. Not for us to be revealed. We are not preaching the gospel for popularity. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. We are Amen. not preaching the gospel for popularity. If anyone needs to be popular, Jesus must be popular. Amen. Jesus Amen. Christ must be what? Must be popular. Amen. Amen. Not us. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. People must find Jesus. And when people have found Jesus, you must be happy that they are finding Jesus. Amen. As John is Amen. saying that he must become greater. I must become less. Amen. And Amen. when you hear that there is a revival, what do you hear? Is it a revival for the certain preacher to be popular? No, it must be revival about Jesus. Amen. Amen. When people are falling in love with Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what must the revival Amen. must be about. But if there's a revival and the people are falling in love with the person, there is something wrong with that kind of revival. Amen. Because he must become greater and I must become less. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 3 verse number 21. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who's from earth belongs to earth. And be and speaks as one from earth. And the one 
who comes from heaven is above all. Then the Bible says, you know, the one who is above all, Jesus Christ is above all. Jesus Christ is greater than all. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We must not compare Jesus with anything of this world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is about what? He is above all. Amen. Because it's the one who the Bible said that he is from above. Amen. And I want to show you other verse. The Bible says that in the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse number 4, the Bible says that greater is he that's within us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Jesus Christ is greater than all. But as is greater than all, he is in us. He is in you. Amen. He's from above and he's in you. And he's making you greater also. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. He is Amen. also making us, making you to dominate. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that, you know, in verse number number four, the Bible says that you dear children are from God. You dear children are from God and you have overcome them. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Amen. The one who is what? Who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Yes, Jesus Christ is greater than all. Amen. But, we, Amen. but in salvation, in salvation, Jesus Christ came and dwelt in you. And when he have dwelt in you, he have also make you to be what? To be greater than the one who is in the world. Amen. You know, Amen. That's why as a child of God, as a child of God, you know, you cannot be, you cannot be compared with those who are not born again. Amen. Remember, you know, when you are still in the world, you used to be scared. You used to be afraid. Afraid of the children of the world. Afraid. You used to be afraid of the children of the world. Children of the devil. You used to be afraid of witches. Maybe you used to be afraid of a Sangoma. A Sangoma could dare to you and you will be afraid because you know that they had certain kind of a spirit. Amen. Amen. But not when you are born again. When you are born again, things changes. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. When Amen. you are born again, do what? Things what? Things changes. Amen. Because you have received the one who is from above. Amen. Who is above all. Amen. Who the Bible says that? Greater is he that's within us than he that is in the world. Amen. He's greater than all. He's above all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, before Amen. you were born again, you were not only scared of the children of Satan, but you were also scared of Satan. But when you are born again, 
because you have received Jesus Christ who's above the devil. He gives you courage and he gives you ability not to be afraid of the devil himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, the Bible says in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, verse number 18, the Bible says that, he replied, I saw Satan fall like a lightning from heaven. I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpion and to overcome all the powers of the enemy and nothing can harm you at all. The one who is from above is Jesus Christ and is greater than Satan. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. When he come to be in you, and when he have given you the power from above, which is the power of the Holy Ghost, that power is above the power of Satan. Amen. That power is above the power of all the sicknesses. Amen. That power is above the power of all the witches. Amen. That power is above the power of the devil. Amen. Is above the power of witchcraft. Amen. Amen. You know, I remember when I grew up, when I used to grow up, I used to, to be afraid of witches. So much in such a way that I would not sleep in my room when the, the light is off. Because I used to know that, you know, we used to know about the power of witchcraft in the village. That where we grew up, the power of the devil was at work. But when we receive the power of the Holy Spirit and we receive Jesus Christ in us, who is above all. From that moment, I fear no witch. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. From that moment, I fear no tokolosh. I fear no demon. Because greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. You have received the one who is greater than all. Amen. Who gives you confidence? Amen. Who gives you Amen. authority? Amen. Amen. He say, and in this verse of Luke chapter 10, verse number 19, says that he gives you authority to trample on snakes, number one. Amen. Hey. And scorpions. Amen. And to overcome Amen. the power of the enemy, all the power of the devil. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Then that is advantage of receiving the one who is above all. Amen. Because when you receive him, Amen. when you receive him, he gives you supernatural advantage. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That Amen. at the end of the day, it is as if also you are from above. Amen. Remember, I Amen. wanted to get something. Can you go to that verse which we are from? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When the Bible says that in the book of John chapter 3, John chapter 3, verse number 31. When the Bible says that, the one who comes from above is above all. The reason why the Bible says that Jesus Christ is from above is because Jesus Christ is also referred to as the Son of God. God who is from above, who is from heaven. Amen. Then Amen. when we say that you are born again, also you, you become, remember, you become the child of God, the son of God. Amen. And when you are coming from the son, you become the son of God. It is as if you are from also above. Amen. I don't Amen. know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. 
Amen. Then what does that mean? It means that, let's say, there used to be witches in your community, witches in the city, wherever they, are, they were. And they used, to, they used to worry about the witches in those. They, they used to worry about the, the witches of that area, the satanist of that area. When you become from above, you, you cannot be compared with them. You, because they are coming from under, but they are coming from where? You are from above. Amen. You are the Amen. you are the son of God, victory that have overcome the world, even our faith. Amen. The Bible says, for everyone who's born of God overcomes the world. Amen. You overcome the world. The Amen. power of the Holy Ghost in you. That power of Holy Ghost, it enables you to be an overcomer. Amen. To be a victor. Amen. To be unstoppable. Amen. Amen. To be danger, to be dangerous to Satan. Amen. To be dangerous Amen. to witches. Amen. To be dangerous Amen. to danger. Amen. Amen. That the all things, everything of the devil becomes under your feet. That's what the Bible says that. For everyone Amen. born of God, because everyone born of God become the son of God, become the child of God, and overcomes the world. Amen. Amen. So that you can become unstoppable. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you say, I am unstoppable? I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Am unstoppable. Can you say, I am unkillable? I am unkillable. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, as a child of God, you are from above. Amen. And you have been enabled to overcome the world. Amen. Apostle Paul, when he talks, he says that. I can do all things through Christ who energizes me. Amen. I can do all things Amen. through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Because Christ Amen. is from above. Christ is in you. Amen. And when Christ is in you, he gives you supernatural advantage of everything of this world. Amen. Amen. Because when he is you, he makes you, hey, you are, you, you are not from this world. Amen. Amen. When there are those who goes like, I'm coming, they are coming from this country, this country which seems to be the best in this world. You, by the supernatural advantage, you say, I'm from where? I'm from above. I'm from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are no longer compared with those who are from this world. Amen. Because you, you are now spiritual. Amen. And you are conscious of spiritual things. Amen. And conscious of spiritual reality. And in the spirit, because when you're born again, you are a spiritual person, you are a child of God. Amen. And your identity Amen. is greater than any identity of this world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse number 34 of John chapter 3. The Bible says that for the one who is from God, the one whom God has sent, speak the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. Mm. The one God, the Bible says that the one whom God has sent, speak the words of God. The words of God. Then that means, you know, firstly, John is saying that Jesus Christ, God has sent him. And he speaks the words of God when he speaks as if God is speaking. 
so today as a children of God, when you are speaking inspired of the Holy Spirit, it is also as if God is speaking. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And the Bible says that, and God gives, God gives us, hey, the spirit without limit. Amen. Amen. God gives a spirit without, he, he have given us the spirit without limits. Amen. Amen. In verse number 35 of John chapter 3, the Bible says that the father loved the son and has placed everything in his hands. Amen. The father loved Jesus and he has placed everything in the hands of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then we tend to understand how powerful is Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ is powerful because Amen. God has placed everything in the hands of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Amen. that gives us a reason why we, we pray in his name. Amen. And that Amen. tells us what the Bible says that from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse number 9. The Bible says that, Therefore God have exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory Amen. of God the Father. Jesus Amen. Christ has got ultimate authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Can you say, I am connected? I am connected. I am connected. Connected to Jesus Christ. Connected to Jesus Christ. Connected to Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Imagine if you know somebody who everything is under his hands. Not just to know. If that person is also your brother in the high authority, in charge of everything, that's who you are and that's how things are. And as a child of God, you must know it and you must believe it that Jesus Christ is the Lord and you are the mightiest. You are related with the stronger than the strongest. Amen. Who is in Amen. charge of everything? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, tonight we're about to go and pray. But this time I want you to pray. As you're praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Praying as if Amen. you are praying to the one who is in charge of everything. Amen. Every and Amen. everything has been placed under his hands. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Mantaka basa, 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 Manta
to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In our countries. In our countries. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. I command them. I command them. Come out. Come out. Come out. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around. Everything to turn around. Everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my good. For my good. Let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle progress. Miracle progress. 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 Say I command. I command. I command. 
say everything that I need. Everything that I need. Everything that I need. Every help that I need. Every help that I need. Every help that I need. Every job that I need. Every job that I need. Every job. Every blessing that I need. Every blessings that I need. Every blessing. Every money that I need. Every money that I need. Every money that I need. Every business that I need. Every business that I need. Every what they need. I command them to come. 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 Say come. 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 Say I receive them. I receive them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You Wash my me savior. with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Forgive Bless me, my me sins. today. Bless me today. Bless Protect me, today. me from today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. With your power with your power of with the holy power, spirit of the holy spirit of the holy spirit say may the grace of our lord jesus christ may the grace of our lord jesus may the grace christ, of our the love lord of jesus god christ, the love of god the, the fellowship of, of god, the holy spirit the fellowship of the holy spirit the be with us holy all spirit. be with us all surely goodness and love surely goodness and love shall, shall follow me shall follow me me. All I'll the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to say to us this night, may God bless you and remember tomorrow we are continue to pray and fast with our Thursday prayer and fasting. May God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.